Well, we did see some light flurries today, but overall, a pretty quiet day. It was cold, though. Matt Kirkwood here now with a look at what you can expect in the days ahead. Matt? Yeah, Brian, Sue, uh, we returned to winter mode today after a warm one yesterday and picking up a little over six tenths of an inch of rain in Grand Rapids uh, in a February day. And as we approach the final weekend of February, which also means the final weekend of meteorological winter, we had just one chance of snow in the 8 day forecast. Let's take a look at where that snow is right now. And you'll be able to see on Storm Track Live radar the lake effect snow showers winding down. The wind is starting to move more north to northeast. And that's going to position most of these lake effect snow showers. Towards Milwaukee and also Chicago, like you're seeing it right now in South Bend. Overall, we're going to see a dry night out there, and I think also some clearing. And you'll be able to look up and occasionally see some stars. A little bit of a, a few breaks showing up in the Muskegon right now, also just offshore in Grand Haven. Kind of an interesting look in the channel in Holland with some pancake ice there. Temperatures here's the new air mass. It's a cold one right now, 10 above in Marquette, 22 in Grand Rapids. All the way down to zero in Fargo at the present time. And I think this uh, cold air mass will gradually moderate over the weekend, but it's going to be a relatively cold weekend. Temperatures right now range from about 17 in Big Rapids and Ludington to 24 in uh, Battle Creek and also Kalamazoo, 24 also in Holland. And we're going to slide into the teens tonight in most areas. 24 hour temperature change. It's significant. Look at that. 28 degrees colder in Kalamazoo right now compared to yesterday at 6 o'clock. 30 degrees in Sturgis, 16 in Grand Rapids. So you can see where the warmest temperatures were yesterday. Current wind, that ranges from calm to right around 9 miles an hour. And these wind chill temperatures will go into the single digits tonight. So if you're heading out this evening, it's going to feel like the teens of single digits. Area of high pressure off to our west, a very dry air mass in place compared to yesterday. And eventually that's going to bring in uh, quite a few breaks and help develop quite a few breaks in the clouds. I'll cover tonight, and you'll be able to see early tomorrow morning. Good chance starting out with a nice sunrise. Won't last those clouds move in out ahead of the next system, and this is not going to be lake effect. This is just going to be an equal opportunity. Widespread snow looks like throughout central and southern lower Michigan, or actually all of lower Michigan, as an area of low pressure basically moves just south of the Cleveland area. So we'll be on the north side of it, the cold side of it, unlike that previous storm, and it looks like it's going to give us, in general, about one to three inches worth of snow. Because of that, uh, the southern counties in the viewing area have a winter uh, weather advisory beginning at two o'clock tomorrow. Tomorrow, right through 8 a.m. on Sunday. And again, about general one to two inches most areas, an isolated three inch amount. And you can see most of the models agree what we're going to have to shovel on Friday morning. Dry weekend. I'll have a couple flurries here and there. And here's your warming trend into next week. Okay. All right. Looks Dry, good. but still chilly. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Matt.